All right, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. So in the last 24 hours, we've gotten a lot of information about Tekken 8 from a select group of content creators that got hands-on experience with the game. I watched as many of these insight videos as I could, and after consulting with my friend Notorious Lemon, I can say without a doubt that our theory of Tekken 7 is correct. So, Tekken 7, as time went on, has become an active experiment to lay down the building blocks for Tekken 8. In other words, Tekken 7 has been foreshadowing to us all this time what Tekken 8 will be. Just think about it. Think about how the various seasons of Tekken 7 have changed the game. Think about the new tactics and how certain DLC characters feel like they're almost too good. If you pay close attention, you'll find that certain mechanics in Tekken 7 have started to feel kind of foreign. And that is because they were added into Tekken 7 to serve as a trial. Let me give you an example, and I think the best character to demonstrate with is Lydia. So the name of the game in Tekken 8 is Aggression. That's what's being promoted, that's what Harada wants Tekken to become. Aggressive. In Tekken 8, we've learned that heat engagers are attacks or punishers that give you a mix-up on hit. So in Tekken 7, for example, Lydia's forward forward 2 and down forward 2 do exactly that. On hit, Lydia goes into stance that allows her to continue pressure with various mix-ups. Not to mention that these moves on counter hit allow Lydia to essentially approach and hit the opponent with a powerful follow-up attack. She's essentially dashing up to her opponent afterwards. Also, another point of interest is that it was revealed that in Tekken 8, Magic 4 no longer launches, but instead you have to commit to a follow-up string. So let's look at Lydia again. As you can see, her standard 4 on counter hit doesn't launch. In order to get a full launcher, you have to commit to doing 4-2. Only then will you be able to get a combo. However, the trade-off is that 4-2 is a mid-high string, so it's a high-risk move because your opponent can duck and punish you. And the new tactics that were just added put your opponent into a 50-50 guessing game. As you can see with Lydia's Political Storm, it ends up being a guessing game. And this obviously isn't exclusive to Lydia, but I'm just trying to make a point here. Not only that, but you can see similar mechanics with some of the other DLC characters as well. Just take a look at Leroy, Fakumram, and Kunimitsu. At one point or another, and let's add Lydia, you know, let's group Lydia in with these three characters. At one point or another, these characters were considered to be the best in the game because of how aggressive they were. It almost felt like they weren't playing by the same rules that the other characters in Tekken 7 are. Now if we want to go even further, if we want to go even deeper, you'll see that these mechanics aren't exclusive to Tekken 7 DLC characters. For example, Claudio Starburst. His blue hand makes his moves stronger when he has that available. And his Rage Drive is essentially a heat dash when you think about it. When Claudio does his Rage Drive, it allows you to apply pressure on block, and if it hits, you end up getting a full combo. Also, one of the most forgotten characters in this game, Gigas, has a Rage Drive that essentially puts you into a 50-50 mix-up. When Gigas does his Rage Drive, if you don't avoid it, you end up getting stunned, and as he approaches you, you're put into a guessing game. What's he going to do? Is he going to do a mid or is he going to do a high? And it's a guessing game at that point and it's, you know, you just got to guess right or else you're going to pay the price. And in Jack 8's trailer, we saw that he has a similar move that kind of looks like Gigas's Rage Drive. You see what I'm trying to get at here? All of us have basically been playing a pseudo version of Tekken 8. Tekken 7 foreshadowed Tekken 8. Eight. So that's gonna do it for now. Let me know what y'all think. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good day. Stay safe out there. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.